Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to the channel. We're going to continue on with the second gen tonight. I do have the bracket in there already for the uh, the static TV lever. Um, everything is ready to go. Uh, we'll get this in there and uh, get it adjusted at the 80% pull. Um, need to pull the lever off for the shift linkage and put a bolt in that. I noticed it does not have a bolt in it to uh, pinch it tight on the uh, the uh, shifter itself and the transmission. Um, I do have this uh, template made for the shift linkage to be able to bolt it on the side of the uh, transmission, kind of like what I was thinking. So we'll get this taken care of. And uh, I do already have the shifter mounted and buttoned up inside the truck. We drilled the hole last night. Um, I'll show you where I put that at because I have not found any videos online whatsoever that uh, shows where people are drilling holes or even any installation videos as far as doing some YouTube research. All right, y'all know I got my shifter made and it bolted from seat bracket to seat bracket. Everything's buttoned up here, all put back together. Um, I did remove the sticker and moved it just a little bit to have everything line up better as far as uh, the shifter itself where it pulls the indicator and then as far as the cable drilled a hole right there beside where the uh, airbag cover is or the the computer for the airbag I think it is is what this cover is right here so and that comes out just about right at the starter and then everything will loop back around and come into the transmission nice. I didn't want to move it over any further because we would have been on top of the uh, four-wheel drive shifter the way it was. Um, you know, we're, we're pretty close as it is right here, but I should still be able to get my hand in there just fine and be able to put it uh, in gear. And that actually is, you know, it's flexible. It comes up a little bit. My concern is the cable being just a little bit long. It kind of goes out over just a little bit around the starter and then comes down and around um it don't pull bad so we're just gonna have to wait and see what it's like when we uh, hook it up to the transmission and how that pulls and get everything adjusted before we get started with all that stuff i've got a relatively new company to me um we have a company called uh, fuel ox here um they are a company that has been in the industrial over the road market for a while and they're looking to get into uh, something just a little bit more maybe some more business to customer base orders um they have uh like i said been in business doing the uh, the, the industrial and uh over the road stuff they do have some fuel and oil additives here's some information here um, if you want to give him a shout and get an order placed, I have not tried this yet. We're going to be giving it a shot in the, in the next uh, few days here. It looks like we have some fuel additive and some grease. Looks like it reduces regeneration emissions. It's got a moisture dispersant. Increases fuel economy and power. Stabilizes fuel and cleans and lubricates your injectors. Looking on the back here, it says one ounce treats up to 80 gallons of fuel. So this container uh, will treat like 625 gallons is what it says. Um, or you can use a quarter ounce for 20 gallons for smaller applications. So it doesn't look like this has any anti-gel in it right now. Um, right now, this time of year, we need some anti-gel. So uh, I'm going to give them a call and see if they have anything as far as some anti-gel. Uh, for me to purchase or pick up and uh, that way we have some stuff to try out for this time of year otherwise this is going to have to wait till spring then we got some gr grease here um, we got extremely stable and water resistant uh, reduces friction and operating temperatures of treated surfaces smooths buttery uh, sorry a smooth buttery consistency can be used in automatic dispensing systems for chassis, fittings, and springs, water pumps, bearings, and any general lubrication. So we're gonna give this stuff a try. It says prevent metal to metal seizures due to lack of lubrication. So we're gonna give the grease a try, put it in some front end parts, um, put it, we can use it in some mowers. I can take it to work and use it in some of our heavy equipment and see how it stacks up. Then also in there is a t-shirt. So thank you guys very much at Fuel Ox. We're gonna give your stuff a try. Um, there is a catalog here that has uh, their products in it. So 
I'm gonna look through here, like I said, and see if there is an anti-gel that we can pick up, unless I'm missing something on this bottle here. So right now we're gonna go ahead and continue on the truck. I need to get that bracket off of there, um, or the, the shifter lever off of there, and try and find a bolt for it, um, a bolt nut, and then get that put in place, and yeah, we'll be good. All right, I got my shift lever installed and tightened up. And then I also have the bracket over here installed for the uh, static TV lever. We're going to go ahead and slide that in the bracket. I got a jam nut on there. I do want to back it up just a little bit so I make sure and have plenty of room to go wherever I need to go. All right, I got that bracket tightened up on the swivel there. So that's all the way closed. I'm gonna tighten my jam nut up so I know that's all the way closed right there. All right, so that was a long process. So right there, that's 80%, or I'm sorry, that is 100%. That's 100% closed right there. So come back maybe a quarter. I don't know, maybe I'll go just a little bit more. So that's 100% open, 100% closed, whatever it might be. Um, We can always adjust it a little bit more. I don't know if that's a good starting point or what. So uh, we're probably gonna go ahead and tighten it up right there with my jam nut and uh, see where that leaves us. Maybe go just a little bit more, not certain. But as you can see, that uh, does not move at all. So that turned out really well. Um, did not have any longer 3 8 bolts. So I do need to pick up just a little bit longer one. It's just barely grabbing. Uh, the nylon right there so I need just a little bit longer bolt and you can see right up there where the uh, shifter cable come through like I said it's right about where the starters at and this is gonna loop around right here kind of like so and get hooked up so um, yeah I mean it should be fine but I may want to explore getting just maybe a little bit shorter cable. So we'll go ahead and go up to the bench and start making the uh, bracket. This is the ear that I'm talking about where it's going to uh, go and come down. All right, like I showed you earlier, we got this bracket here. Um, well, this template of the bracket that I made up last night. Uh, that'll get bolted up just like that. This portion right here uh, will go along the transmission bell housing so it can't turn uh, whatsoever. Um, gonna go ahead really the only piece I needed was this top portion I just I kind of made it look like I wanted to look so um, gonna put a gusset on the side of it right here um, just for some strength and I will weld a nut to the bottom of it um, so we can bolt down through the top so I'm gonna go ahead and give this some heat with my map gas torch and get this bent over if I try and do it cold the radius is going to be uh, more than what I want, so we'll give it some heat, heat it up just a little bit, and that way we get a nice tight radius. I'm just gonna make a little sandwich break um, and then use a hammer. Um, I do have something for the uh, press over there, but I don't have it built yet or even uh, uh, on the tool video, so uh, that's gonna have to wait, so I can't use it. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get this bent over. Um, and This is just some two inch by eighth inch strap. Uh, this bracket here is eighth inch, so that's what I decided to go with. All 
All right, that wasn't working the best. I didn't think about, my table was absorbing all my heat. My map gas was about empty, so I did take it back to my vise and finished it up. Um, didn't turn out too bad, pretty square. Uh, so now we'll go ahead and cut this angle off, uh, this way actually, and uh, drill the hole in it, and take it out there and see where we need to cut it off here. Um, kind of maybe round it off a little bit instead of leaving it uh, sharp edges. Uh, this one less thing I have to gouge my arm on underneath there. So, um, yeah, it's not turning out too bad. Kind of a neat little trick I learned a while back. Um, if you got something you want to drill a hole in, you really don't want to have the ability to use a drill press like that. Uh, I just took this little bushing, I set it on my weld table, over top the hole, clamped it, and was able to uh, just drill right down through it. If I had a mag bit, or I'm sorry, a mag drill, it would have worked a lot better. So I'm gonna go out there, test fit this, get a distance that we need to cut this off at, or, or drill our hole at. Actually, we may just go ahead and take this and bolt it up to the bottom of the transmission, and then we'll be able to transfer right across. All right, there's gonna be a couple of different ways you can do this. I have this bracket bolted in place. Um, my bolt's just a little bit too short, so I'm gonna have to put just a longer bolt on there. I am gonna weld uh, the nut on the bottom. Um, fits up there pretty good. Uh, not bad as far as dimensions. Uh, my concern is with the cable itself. I'm probably going to have to do a little bend jobby. Uh, you can see that that is probably right there is where it would have to actually be. And um, as far as the threads, and we're past. Uh, you can't see that. The threads right there. And the shifter, yeah, we're past just a little bit. So I don't know how I'm going to be able to do this. I'm going to try and leave it straight at first and uh, get everything mounted up. We may have to make uh, bend this back just a little bit uh, to get everything to work. But to transfer my mark, you can see I have a mark right there. Um, what I did... Let's took this little torpedo level, set it on top of the uh, shifter lever. I got it level. And then I went over there and I just marked it with my Sharpie. Another way you could do it is to take the bracket itself that is supposed to be used, bolt it up in place. As you can see, I'm not, I'm back further than what this one would actually set. This original bracket would set just right, uh, but I'm not gonna be able to use it. And uh, set it up there where it goes and then transfer your marker across that one. All right, this is what I come up with right here. I made this cute little gusset to go in there too. Uh, I still need to take it out to the truck and test fit it um, before I weld that gusset in there. Got a flange head nut that I am gonna have to weld on that backside because there's not gonna be enough room in there. Uh, to be able to grab a hold of it and get it tightened up. Um, this is after I test fit it, make sure everything's okay. I did go over 90 and then I kicked it back. So we're gonna go out and test fit it, um, make sure everything is good. It's now raining, so we're gonna leave the camera inside. I didn't do a lot of filming with that because I was back and forth to my vice, to my table, to my vice, to my table so many times that I would have had to move the camera a gazillion times. That's one of the things I do want to do is kind of make a mount so I'm able to uh, have my vice fist fixed to my table. That's that's one of the things. So, uh, lastly, we have made it to 5,000 family members. So I'm super stoked about that. Thank you each and every one of you that has listened to me blab for the past few years and helped me grow the channel. It's 100% appreciated. Not certain when this video is going to go up um, before or after Christmas. So if it's before, Merry Christmas to each and every one of you. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve. So I need to go in and take care of some things there after I test fit this. And yes, be happy, be safe, be merry. Happy holidays. And we'll talk to you guys later on. Like, subscribe. We'll talk to you later.